Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So I'm walking through Istanbul airport tonight waiting for my next flight and I came across this amazing exhibition. It's called the Pioneers of Modern Science and it showcases the Muslim contribution to science in mass, in biology, chemistry, physics, astronomy and so many other things. So I just want to take a walk around very quickly to showcase what we've got over here and how interesting it is and what we can learn from our history and how we could possibly bring it back and increase our legacy inshallah. So as we come through the exhibition you see the greatest travelers of all time these were amazing explorers. Nowadays we've got people who travel around the globe, but it's very easy, they've got technology, whereas these guys, they had to navigate themselves and they traveled far and wide to get to places that people never got to before. So on this wall here, you have the map of the world. And what can you tell about this map, especially the difference to what we see today? The thing is that it's upside down, but you've got to remember that the maps were drawn back in the day were done without any science, without any technology. And this was done and is very, very accurate to the point that this was seen as a milestone in the history of geography and is known as the view of the world. This exhibition is huge. You have a lot of places to visit, lots of information from different subjects. Over here is really interesting. You have the different houses of healing across the world and it shows the different places in the different centuries where people used to go to find cures for themselves and a lot of noble health facilities in Islamic civilizations. So the astrolobe is something really interesting that we technically use today. It was used back in the day to help find and navigate the position of the Qibla, the latitude and longitude of different areas around the world. And it's known as the ancestor of the GPS which is what we use when we use maps on our phones and trying to find out our location whenever we travel. Check this out, this is really cool. So this is the circulation of the blood in a body. And this drawing showcases what was done many, many years ago by scientists. By going through each bit, you can see the different parts of the organs, you can see the different veins. This is really, really interesting, especially for the knowledge that they had at that time that they were able to do this oh, many, many centuries ago. This was produced by Ibn al-Nafis, who was the mostly famous for being the first to describe the pulmonary circulation of the blood.